So it's been a while since I've just sat here and talked to a camera about random things that are on my mind. And I've told you before that I'm a bit of a goldfish and my mind just kind of goes from one thing to the other and I can't seem to concentrate on anything. Well, I've had a lot of ideas lately to make YouTube videos and none of them seem to be long enough or seem to be well formed enough to make a video, so I haven't been making them. But then I thought, what if I just mush them all together and call it my goldfish vlog? So this is my goldfish vlog. This is my mind going in different directions and thinking about different things and one thing leads to another and I don't know. Here we go. So some of you may have seen um, my brother TJ and I, we do some videos called the awesome or awful vlogs and we basically we review mo movies. And we've done the entire Transformers series, one, two, and three, and we were very excited in a way to hear about the fact that there was going to be Transformers 4, Transformers, coming out in July of 2014. So that should be fun, and we're going to go to the theater and see it, we're like, let's go opening night and take notes, and then we'll do another awesome or awful for Transformers 4 in 2014. So that's exciting, that's going to be coming up. Last year, if you recall, I did a video about an annual event that happens in my town that's a little bit strange and kooky and also wonderful. It's called the Ganny Race, and it happens every April, and this year it's on April 6th. So if you happen to be in Port Hope, or near Port Hope, or Toronto or Seattle, and you want to come and check out a crazy, weird, strange, wonderful event that happens in this town every year, it's worth it. It's the weirdest thing in the world, and it's awesome. And I will be there with my camera, and I'm hoping to maybe do some interviews of some people doing it. So if you are watching this and you're from Port Hope or you're going to be in the Port Hope Ganny Race, let me know and maybe we can hook up and do some sort of interview about why you do it and about your crafts. I'm interested and I think that would be really, really fun. So if you follow the um, YouTube community at all, you may know about something that's going on right now called Becoming YouTube. It's a documentary program done by Ben Cook in the UK and it's pretty good. I mean, there's sketch comedy and stuff like that in it and it's, it's pretty funny. It's a little bit crass sometimes, but what are you going to do? His most recent Becoming YouTube was about girls on YouTube, and a lot of female YouTubers have kind of gone berserk about it. Um, one of the things that was said in it was something along the lines of, beauty vlogs are really the only way to go for girls, and either that or you have to be funny, something along those lines. And he was saying, more girls should vlog, but only if they're good. Start making good content and you'll be famous. And basically all the girls in the YouTube world have kind of gone up in arms about this and think he's being a little bit ridiculous. And I tend to agree. So, um, I'm not saying I'm the best YouTuber in the world and my subscribers, you're great. I love you. You keep coming back and I appreciate you. One of the things I want to do for you today is recommend some excellent female YouTubers out there that I watch on an almost daily basis. Anytime they put something up, I'm right there to watch it. It's excellent stuff. I want to start with somebody I've been following for quite a few years, and it sounds kind of weird because I'm like crowding up on 30, and I watch her vlogs all the time, and she's like 20, <laughs> and she's excellent, she's inspiring, and I just, I love her vlogs. Um, her name is uh, Cassandra Croft, and she goes by NerdsRL. I've referenced her many times. I've done um, response videos to her stuff. She's excellent. She's funny. She's witty. She's smart. She's driven. She's talented. And I love her vlogs. I love her gym vlogs especially. She's trying to get somewhere with her career, and she vlogs about it nearly daily. And I love her. She's great. You should check her out, NerdsRL. Also, Lindsay the Nerdiest. She's witty, she's clever, she's a huge Harry Potter fan, she's a Whovian, she is awesome, and I always laugh when I watch her videos. She's excellent. You need to check her out. Also, the Maddest Cat. She puts up great content. She's incredibly talented. She's incredibly smart. She's incredibly lovely. You should check her out. Caters17. She doesn't often do uh, her daily vlogs anymore. She's gotten away from it, but she has really good content. Her sister channel, Caters17, she's excellent. She's funny. She's British. She's awesome. 
There's also I Talk to Snakes, who's incredibly popular, has many, many awesome things out there. And also Raven Zoe, who I love. I've followed her music for years. She's incredibly talented. You should check her out. I've also just discovered Expert Pack. I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. But anyway, I just discovered her after the P4A this year. She's funny. She has awesome hair. And she has such a great energy. You should check out her vlogs. And I think that's my top ones right now. This is going to be a fun video to edit because it's already about 13 minutes long. I'm on an exercise ball, just so you know. That's why I'm like, woo. I have to go let my puppy in. I have to eat some lunch before the baby wakes up from a nap. And I'm going to edit you now. And I hope everybody's well. I'll have a better quality vlog in a little while. This is just my goldfish because there's all these different things going on in my head, in my mind, in my life right now. And stay tuned. I love you. Peace, Galdas.